So, just checking my GoPro if it's recording. Hello everyone, this is Ricardo Review. So, today I'm here to unbox the Garmin Striker Vivid for CV, which I bought for my float tube. So, as you see here, this is the head unit. It's 4 inch display. The plastic feels quality. So, I bought this so I can start to learn how to uh, look at graphics, have a better knowledge of depth, because I only started to fish with um, in the spinning. Uh, ultralight spinning, uh, BFS casting in the last two years because I found that we have chub in this river and in uh, I think one hour by car I can have access to large mode bass, uh, shander and if I travel a little bit more I have sea bass, I have um, pike and I have perch. And I also have trout, but you, you will not go on a float tube to catch trout. And we in here we can also target barbell on the depth. So I bought this because it's the cheapest um, um, sonar that you can buy that has chirp technology other than the bobber that you throw and then you have to use your cell phone to uh look on the graphics and that's not really what i want because i want this to mark you can also mark waypoints because it says gps it will not have navigation that's why i also want to have my cell phone with me on the flow too so i will have waypoints in here i will have graphs in here and i will have uh, the gps also on my phone so with this i can target fish, uh, uh, mark my points where I catch the best steps after I learn to use it. So this is the head unit, I, I forgot that I was unboxing it. This is the support mount that can, I think, it will, yeah, it rotates and it, mm, it pivots I think he, I hope yeah it pivots so it's, it's a latching system you just latch your unit it's fixed now we just smash everything yeah we just smash everything trying to put everything together so now I just need to order a support mount for the, this head unit for my flow tube. Mm -hmm. I didn't order it because I didn't know. So what else do you have in the package other than the head unit and the mount for it? Mm -hmm. have the power cable. Which has a... 32 volt, 30 amp fuse in it. And I will try to turn it on today for you guys. I have a janky connection here with the old laptop charger that does 12 volts. Hope I don't fry the unit. So this is the transducer part in here, it's for you to contact Garmin support center, we are not uh, doing that because we are real men in here and we don't look at 
any type of um, support so this is for you to mount the transducer if you have a trolling motor you can put your transducer there so this, I will not use this because I will not have a um, trolling motor this uh, I have no idea for what is this well, I probably don't need it so these are cable mounts this is I think to put your transducer on your kayak or widget mount cable passes and this is your transducer so it's very heavy it's the heaviest part in the box the transducer it comes on this bubble wrap okay so I will need this all the attachments that you will have on flow tubes and even kayaks they will connect from this support you have so these screws with these um, retainers will connect this in here or like this go this way yeah like this and all the connectors that you have on the flow tubes will connect like this so the one that I have on my flow tube right there it has the same indentation so it stays put together and it has the knob that you can then screw like a um, sort of like a GoPro mount but instead of interlocking it's just side by side so you have here your transducer mount and you mount your in here but I will do a video mounting and setting up the flow tube with everything after I get the head unit mount to put on the flow tube so in this is the other cable I think this is a lot of meters I will not need this because my flow tube is 35 centimeters high the head unit will be here and the transducer will be here on the end of the flow tube so I will not need this all this cable now I will be running this I bought this bought a power tool the last weekend to just to use the batteries because you can buy these batteries really cheap in here I think it's 16 it's under 20 euros for each one of them uh, maybe less maybe it's 16 and with 20 something euros you can buy a 5 amp hour this is a 2 amp hour battery from Parkside and let's see if I can have a connection in here it's the jankiest one so it's connecting as you can see I'll try to put it for that side yes English please set demonstration you have chosen to configure this unit for retail are you sure so this is the time it, this will get automatically the time you don't have any you will never have to set the time on this because it will get the time from GPS it will take some time but you will get it so this is it I have a friend of mine printing and if you want to run it on Parkside 12 volt batteries I will have a friend of mine printing it in the 3d printer I will leave the the link for the file that someone already did you just need to buy some accessories for the connectors on Aliexpress and then it just just need to clip the battery on the printed um, support and you can run it I haven't measured the consumption but I think if you get the 5 amp battery 
you will probably have minimum six hours because I don't see this uh, running more than one amp hour. So with uh, one small battery and a big one, you will have a full fishing day. With two five amp batteries, you will have more than one day battery on the Garmin Striker. So this is waypoints. You have uh, a quick draw contour. You have the, you see the route that you make, you have a compass and so we want to show you the clear view. So this is a simulation of the clear view. You see the depth, you see the bottom. And so this is a, the, the quick draw map. It will not work in here. So this is a map that you can draw. So this is a map, this is user data, this is settings. This will give you plenty of uh, information. So you have navigation, compass, device voltage, so your battery, the depth, the speed that you're going, the water temperature, and the time of the day. So if I go back, sonar setup, depth line, you can show the depth line, the scroll speed, the color scheme, the noise reject, the brightness, in the traditional view, you see, we have the feet, which I will change because I'm European, so I'll change it to meters, the temperature, I'll also change it to Celsius, this is the voltage on my battery, so 11.9, it will need to drop to under 10 volts, and after that, only after that, the Garmin will disconnect. I really need to look on the instructions because I know that with this, well, I think it's in here appearance. Fish symbols. If you go on fish symbols and you put it on, you go back, back again. So you see. So even in this simulation, you can see when it detects a fish. It will recognize and it will tell you that there's a fish and at what depth and how many. So in here you can see it's more than one. There was one. So it's a very easy way. So you can see here, this is a fish and it's a 27, 26 feet. And this is a bunch of fish that are a 10 feet depth. So it's very intuitive, but this is just a demonstration. Uh, I will be learning how to use it and as I learn, I will show you how I use it to become a better fisherman because this will not, this will just give you information. It will not make you a good fisherman. It will give you more hints and more ways for you to get a pattern. So now I will always know when I'm on my flow tube, I will always know the depth, the water temperature and the time of the day when I'm catching fish. That information will be registered in my mind, even if I'm not acknowledging it. And I will start to get more and more information about patterns. So I catch this fish this day. And then I remember oh, I was throwing a jig, I was throwing a crankbait, I was throwing whatever. And I have more precise information. What type of structure and you will have that knowledge on your head and sooner or later you'll start to make some patterns on your head and that's how you start to be a good fisherman not casting aimlessly like a fan uh, this unit for me i bought it in a sale on pressure it was under 170 euros 170 euros so even with shipping it was the same price as the tube but this can go on a kayak if i get a kayak a small boat a bigger float tube a better float tube a skiff whatever i go next if i go on another thing i can grab this and you don't have to also spend a lot on uh, batteries you can just go online look on uh, ebay amazon because there is a lot of brands selling adapters for dewalt milwaukee stanley that you just plug your 20 volt batteries and you get usb power and you get a 12 volt plug that you just can directly plug 
on this head unit or you can go on Thingverse website which is a website that will give you the file directly for you to print the support for your battery there will be a lot of more videos on this unit on the channel this is uh, investment on my fishing knowledge on me gathering even more knowledge that i can pass to you so if you enjoy the content leave a like subscribe to the channel leave a comment below it really means a lot to me because i'm not doing this channel to promote myself it's not about that it's about me growing as a person uh, trying to be a better teacher because that's something that i want to do in the future and this is a means to that and i really want you guys to learn as i'm learning through and uh, and this is a voyage so as you know and you probably should have uh, seen by now portuguese is not my first language I'll do plenty more content on this unit so say, stay tuned I will try to post more videos. I'm pushing the schedule now. I've been delaying a lot on the channel, but now I'll keep pushing the videos out. So it will mean a lot to me if you say something. Bye, see you next time.